Right now, here's a bright idea. Instead of blowing a fortune on a new car, consider buying a used one, but not just any used car. Look for those that have only been driven for two to three years, like when someone leased it. These cars are almost as good as new, but you can snag them for a lot less, about 30% off the brand new price. It's like buying the same car but keeping more money in your wallet. To help you avoid a big money blunder, follow a simple rule. Don't spend more than 10% of your yearly income on a car. This way, you'll have a sweet ride without draining your bank account. If you think buying a new car isn't the best money move, drop a comment saying skipping new cars for savings. Misusing credit cards. The sixth thing people waste money on is misusing credit cards. In today's world, we often use credit cards to buy things we want instantly, but borrowing money with high interest rates, as Warren Buffett advises against, isn't smart. Credit cards let us buy stuff without using our own money, but they often lead to unnecessary purchases and financial pitfalls. When we pay the small monthly amount, most of it goes toward high interest fees, tricking us into thinking we can afford more than we can. This means less money to save and invest in our future. For example, if you buy an $11,000 item with a credit card that has a 20% interest rate and you only make the minimum payments, it could take years to pay off and end up costing you almost double the original price due to interest. This kind of debt can quickly spiral out of control, leaving you with a large financial burden and little to show for it. While some credit cards offer rewards such as cash back or travel points, these benefits can lure you into spending more than you should. Warren Buffett's advice is to be cautious with high interest borrowing. The rewards rarely outweigh the costs of accumulating debt. Think carefully before borrowing. Consider if it truly benefits you long term or just adds to interest costs. A good practice is to only charge what you can afford to pay off in full each month. This way, you can avoid interest charges altogether and maintain a healthy financial standing. Be smart with your money, avoid the trap of high interest credit card debt by using credit cards wisely, paying off balances promptly, and being mindful of your spending habits. By doing so, you'll keep more money in your pocket and be better positioned to save and invest in your future. Impulse buying. Impulse buying is when you buy things without planning, driven by desire or immediate gratification. If you're part of the middle class, you might be surrounded by a culture that encourages buying things. It happens in stores and online often encouraged by marketing tricks designed to trigger your impulse to purchase. Flash sales, limited time offers, and appealing displays are just a few of the tactics used to make you feel an urgent need to buy now. Impulse buying can quickly drain your finances, leaving you with items you don't need and a bank account that's significantly lighter. Those small, seemingly harmless purchases can add up over time, creating a big dent in your budget and preventing you from saving money for more important goals. To avoid impulse buying, try implementing a waiting period before making non-essential purchases. For instance, adopt the 24-hour rule. If you see something you want, wait 24 hours before buying it. This cooling off period allows you to reconsider if the purchase is truly necessary or just a fleeting desire. Often, the initial urge will fade and you'll realize you can live without it. Wealthy people focus on saving and investing for the long term rather than impulse buying. They understand that accumulating wealth requires discipline and careful financial management. They prioritize their spending, focusing on what adds long-term value to their lives, rather than immediate satisfaction. Additionally, some rich people prefer to use cash or debit cards instead of credit cards because it makes them think twice before spending money. When you use cash, you physically see the money leaving your hand, which creates a tangible sense of expenditure. This psychological barrier can help curb unnecessary purchases. Using debit cards can have a similar effect, as the money is directly deducted from your bank account, making it easier to keep track of your spending. Another strategy is to create a budget and stick to it. Allocate specific amounts for different categories, such as groceries, entertainment, and savings. By doing so, you'll have a clear picture of where your money goes each month and can avoid overspending on impulse buys. Lastly, consider setting financial goals, whether it's saving for a down payment on a house, building an emergency fund, or investing for retirement, having clear objectives can motivate you to resist impulse purchases. Each time you refrain from buying something unnecessary, you're one step closer to achieving your financial goals. By being mindful of your spending habits and implementing these strategies, you can avoid the pitfalls of impulse buying and make smarter financial decisions that lead to long-term success. If you're saying no to impulse buys, Drop a comment saying no to impulse buys, yes to financial goals.
eating out too frequently. It's important to have fun and go out with friends or your partner once in a while. Social activities like grabbing a drink with friends or watching a movie with your loved one can enrich your life. However, it's crucial to consider how much money you spend when you go out. Could that money be used for something else more meaningful or necessary? I'm not saying you shouldn't go out and have fun, but you don't have to do it every Friday night or every time you get paid. Dining out can quickly become a costly habit. Some people enjoy going to fancy restaurants or sharing pictures of their lavish meals on social media to show off, but this can lead to significant expenses. Going to restaurants every weekend can strain your budget. The cost of meals, especially at upscale establishments, adds up quickly. Additionally, when you eat out, you often spend money on things like parking, transportation, and alcohol, which can substantially increase the overall cost of your outings. These expenses might seem small individually but can accumulate to a substantial amount over time, eating into your savings and financial goals. Cooking at home is a great alternative. Not only is it cheaper, but it also provides an opportunity to improve your culinary skills. Preparing meals at home allows you to control the ingredients, ensuring healthier and more personalized dishes. It can be a fun and rewarding experience, especially if you involve family or friends in the cooking process. Furthermore, home-cooked meals offer significant cost savings. For the price of one meal at a restaurant, you can often prepare multiple meals at home. By planning your meals and buying groceries in bulk, you can stretch your dollars further and reduce food waste. To manage your expenses better, consider setting a monthly budget for dining out and entertainment. Allocate a specific amount that you can comfortably spend without compromising your financial goals. This way, you can still enjoy social outings without feeling guilty about overspending. Another strategy is to explore more affordable dining options. Look for local diners, food trucks, or community events where you can enjoy good food without breaking the bank. You can also take advantage of deals, discounts, and happy hour specials to make your money go further. Lastly, try to be mindful of the hidden costs associated with dining out. For instance, the cost of beverages, especially alcohol, can significantly increase your bill. Opt for water or non-alcoholic drinks when possible to save money. Similarly, be aware of additional expenses like tips, taxes, and service charges, which can add up quickly. By being conscious of your spending habits and finding a balance between eating out and cooking at home, you can enjoy social activities without compromising your financial health. Constantly upgrading gadgets and devices. While staying up to date with technology is important, buying the latest gadgets every year can be a drain on your finances. The allure of the newest and greatest technology, with all its innovative features, can be tempting, but it's essential to consider whether these upgrades are truly necessary. You might feel the urge to upgrade to the latest smartphone, tablet, or laptop because of the promise of enhanced performance or new features. However, if you think about it, the improvements in each new gadget iteration are often marginal. Upgrading to the latest model may not provide substantial benefits over your current device in terms of functionality or performance, and the price to upgrade may not be worth it. Moreover, this habit extends beyond major gadgets to include smaller, less essential items. We frequently buy gadgets more often than needed such as smart water bottles, cool alarm clocks, fancy toothbrushes, and advanced sound systems. Although these items are appealing and offer some convenience, they are not truly necessary. The incremental benefits they provide do not justify the frequent expenses. The next time you see a gadget to lust over, think twice before you buy it. Consider whether the features and benefits of the new device significantly surpass those of your current one. Odds are we usually don't need it. Instead, think about the opportunity cost of that purchase. The money spent on frequent gadget upgrades could be invested elsewhere to generate potential returns, such as in a retirement fund, stocks, or other financial instruments. Another approach is to adopt a more sustainable mindset when it comes to technology. Focus on maintaining and optimizing your current devices instead of replacing them at every opportunity. Regular software updates, proper care, and occasional repairs can extend the life of your gadgets, ensuring they continue to serve you well without the need for constant replacements. Additionally, consider the environmental impact of constantly upgrading your devices. The production and disposal of electronic devices contribute significantly to environmental pollution and resource depletion. By holding onto your gadgets longer, you can reduce your carbon footprint and contribute to a more sustainable future. When you do decide to upgrade, explore options for selling or trading in your old devices. Many companies offer trade-in programs that provide discounts on new purchases or cash back for your old gadgets. This can help offset the cost of upgrading and reduce electronic waste. 
Ultimately, it's about finding a balance between staying current with technology and managing your finances responsibly. Be mindful of the true value and necessity of each upgrade and prioritize long-term financial stability over the allure of the latest gadgets. By doing so, you can avoid unnecessary expenses and make more informed financial decisions that align with your goals. In conclusion, these are some common mistakes people make when managing their finances. Reflecting on your spending habits and making conscious choices can greatly impact your financial well-being. From buying cars and homes wisely, to using credit cards responsibly and avoiding impulse purchases, there are many ways to improve your financial situation. By being mindful of your spending, budgeting effectively, and prioritizing long-term goals, you can build a more secure and prosperous future. If you're excited to make smart financial choices, leave a comment saying smart choices, bright future.